Welcome to my channel. My name is Ashley and today I'm going to be doing the Pronto One review for you. Uh, I've had this stroller for about three years now. The first two years we had the older model that is only sold in Korea or was only sold in Korea. And uh, now we upgraded this year to the new version that is sold in America. So if you buy one from Pronto USA, this is what you're going to get. I'm going to walk you through it a little bit, show you some of the features, show you some of the things that I love about it, some of the things that I think could be improved. So the first thing that I will um, show you here on the Pronto is the folds. You can see it here standing. It does have the standing fold and it's very compact for a double that can easily hold three kids. It has a 175 pound weight limit, so it's really versatile. You can use it for shopping, you know, spur of the moment friends that want to jump in, even pets. Uh, it can be used for lots of things. So uh, I really think that this fold is a big game changer because it's hard to find something this compact. It fits in my tiny Mazda 2 trunk. It fits in the Honda Fit trunk. You know, it can you can take the wheels off really easily, so it can fit in pretty much most trunks that I've seen on the market. Um, and it would even be a little bit more slim if I took off some of the accessories. Like I have uh, the the parent organizer on here and some of these extra bags and things. If you took them off, it would look even a little bit more slim profile. But the nice thing about Pronto accessories is that I think just about every single one of them you can fold on the stroller, so you don't have to be removing tons of things just to fold it up, which is a really, really nice uh, feature that a lot of strollers don't have. So in the three years of having it, we have taken this thing all over the world. We've used it for one kid for two years, and now we have two kids. Uh, so we have a lot of experience with it. I'll put some pictures in, some videos um, of us just pushing it. You can see some of the different features. Um, but I have to say it has lasted through every season of our growing family and I'm really looking forward to a lot of the new developments that they're coming out with. I think next year they've got a car seat adapter coming, they've got a few different covers and accessories, new color packs. So Pronto has only been in the U.S. for a short time but they are developing and innovating like crazy and I can't wait to see what they come out with. So the feature that I'm going to talk about now is the tires. Uh, I really like the tires. I, with the older model, they had a different tread on them, so I know some of the moms here in America have the older version Pronto. I like the tread on those tires, but these are easier to keep clean. You can easily wipe them down, wash them off, really, really easy to take care of, and super, super easy to take off as well. Um, there's just a little peg that you push in, and they pop right off, and pop right back on. Uh, they are pretty heavy duty. I know that they cannot be uh, advertised as all-terrain, just because they're not meant for like squishy sand, uh, loose sand, maybe even like ice, things like that. Um, I know that this thing handles well in the snow. I've had it in uh, colder climates. And here in the desert, I've also used it. So for medium to hard sand, I would say it does actually pretty well. And there are many wagons on the market that will advertise themselves to have all-terrain wheels. I've tested a lot of them and I'll say for my two cents, this handles just as well or better than all of them. So although Pronto will not come out and say that it's all terrain because they, they don't want to make promises that you know maybe won't handle for every family, for my experience, this has been the best stroller for diversity, you know, different um, different terrains that it can handle everything. It handled every challenge we've thrown at it so far. Here's an example of how the Pronto handles on rocky terrain. I reached out to Pronto to ask if there were any updates that I could share with my subscribers and they gave me some exclusive update on things that are coming out next year. They let me know that the new Pronto Plus that's coming out with a body base that can have a footwell or it can be changed so it doesn't have a footwell. When you have it set up with a footwell, the surface of the footwell is plastic and when you set it up to be a bassinet, you flip that footwell part over so the part where your kids were stepping on is the bottom of the stroller and the clean part is the top. So the engineers have been trying to think of as many ways as they can to make things as easy as possible and I see that throughout the rest of the Pronto design as well so I'm not surprised. They will be having a new tray coming out. I believe it's going to have cup holders and they did let me know it is possibly they're going to be making a plastic one and I know that some parents would prefer that so it's amazing. And they're also planning on doing more limited runs on colors like they just recently announced the Robin Egg Blue color pack and they're probably going to be doing some more of those throughout the new year. So you heard it here first, 
really excited about those color packs to be honest i am like pokemon i collect them all so hopefully that you'll get be able to get your hands on some of those too so something that i think would be a really great feature if it had that it doesn't right now is kind of like an all-terrain tire something bigger something thick i don't know meant for maybe like ice maybe a loose sand um, i know that that's kind of hard to engineer so i don't know if that would be possible but if it is possible i know they'll do it uh, something else that they have been working on is uh, an optional footwell. So I know it's a big debate in the stroller wagon community. Do we need the footwell? Do we not need the footwell? Varies from family to family, but I think that there's a lot of misconception around it. I think a lot of people believe that if you have a footwell, that it will eliminate any kind of kicking, fighting between the feet, between children. And in my understanding, my experience, that's just not true at all. If kids are gonna fight, they're gonna fight. And for my kids, we implement rules with our oldest. If he cannot treat his brother well and, and maintain his space, then he's going to be walking until he can decide to do so. And so that's the way that we handle it. But if you have feet in a footwell, it's very easy to be stepping on little brother, kicking little brother, even by accident. So I find that for us, we don't prefer a footwell. Um, but the nice thing that is coming out that I've never heard of on any other stroller wagon is that next year, Pronto is going to bring out an optional footwell. So one of the great things about it is that it's going to be with a hard base, kind of like a veer, because with a soft base, there have been incidents of children's feet being injured, going up curves, you know, rocks, things like that are dangerous if you don't have the protection of a hard cage. So they're developing that and it will be an optional thing so that you don't have to have it if you don't want to. A lot of families would like that flexibility, um, but the flat base has served us really well because it is more versatile. You don't have to be carrying around any kind of accessory to stuff it, um, you know, anything like that. It's really easy to take naps. You just lay baby down and they're ready to go. So that's something that they're coming out with um, also next year that I'm really excited about. One of the things that I love about the Pronto is the design. It's really thoughtfully done. Um, it's made with aircraft grade aluminum. So it's really the highest quality materials that I have found in a stroller. And it also helps with the center of gravity. It's so well balanced. I'll put in a picture here of my husband. First try, just to see if he could lift it in the air, and it was the most incredible thing. So, I mean, it really, it helps a lot with tippiness. Like, for example, the center of gravity helps in lifting it, getting it in and out of the car, um, you know, with the, with if you're shopping with it. Uh, I've had, in the past, a City Mini GT Double, and while I love the push on it, and it's quite comparable, I would say that the tippiness was a huge dislike for me, and it's one of the reasons I got rid of it. Uh, so here you can put 40 pounds on the handlebar of the Pronto, no problem. They've tested it. Um, it's, you should join the Pronto community and love Facebook page. They do some crazy experiments on there. The owners are such cool people. So they've done some cool experiments with that. I've personally had it loaded up to the gills, all the bags, everything. Get the kids out, put them in the car, no problem. The thing isn't going anywhere. So in addition to that, being able to lift it in and out of the car easily, it doesn't feel so burdensome. If you have something like the City Mini GT Double lifting it. It does have the convenience of those straps, but it feels kind of burdensome. It feels kind of like clunky in a way. So this is actually quite, the, the weight of it is distributed well. And for me, that is a really big plus. Before I unfold the Pronto, I'm gonna show you just one more feature about the tires here. So right now they are unlocked. And this is something that they upgraded from the first version, which is the locking mechanism. So you're gonna turn it once, you hear that click. You're gonna turn it one more time. It's locked in place, not going anywhere. And better yet, little hands are not going to be able to get a hold of this and just mess with it if they reach down. So this way, you're set. So now I'm gonna walk you through unfolding the Pronto. This is another thing that they improved from the first version is that it has an auto lock and I love that. I didn't know how much I would love that until I got it. So I'm gonna step around here, set it down. And the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is unbuckle this basket. There's a, there's a clasp on the bottom from the top so that it keeps it in place. You're not having your basket flopping all around. The next thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is come over here to the side, and this is where the auto lock function keeps it secure. So it's just a little slide here. I'm gonna go ahead and slide it and pull open the stroller, moving your basket outside of the stroller, 
and lifting up those seats. And there you go. It's locked in place, ready to stroll. I was telling you earlier about this handlebar. And one of the nice things about the Pronto handlebar is that it is so solid. It is just a telescoping handlebar here, so you're not having a hinge. The hinge makes a big difference in that if you have kind of like a wonderful handlebar that does this for adjustment rather than to go in and out, it's a lot weaker, unfortunately, because the hinges will have pressure on them over time. So a lot of those uh, manufacturers, they recommend that you don't put any weight or very little weight on the handlebar. But because this is a telescoping handlebar, you are able to put 40 pounds of weight on this, which means going through the airport, you can put bags. I always put my diaper bag on this. I always have a parent console on this. You can put uh, shopping bags. I have stroller hooks here. Pronto stroller hooks are crazy. They have two hooks built into each one and they independently swivel. Never seen any like that on the market before and I've gone through way too many. So for accessories, I do have to recommend this console is deep. It holds huge, you know, um, tumblers or, or thermoses, whatever you've got going on. This is going to be able to carry them for you. So this, uh, the, the handlebar can carry any weight that you want to throw at it. So I'm already going to be including a video for you of uh, using the peekaboo window and how it looks to the parent pushing, but I also want to show you how it looks closed and another feature that was a hidden surprise for me, didn't know about this for years, and now I've seen what they've included here in the design. So this is the peekaboo window and you can fold it away if you want to um, be able to just close it up, let's say it's cold or something and you don't need to be looking inside. It's really this easy. And there you go. It's closed up. It's a sleek design and you're ready to stroll. So the other thing that I want to talk about here on the back of this canopy are these toggles. For the longest time, I didn't know what was going on here. So I asked Pronto USA and they came through as always. And they let me know that this is for the mosquito net and the blackout net that are sold on the, on the website there as accessories. They're really great for nap times. If you have a child with special needs that needs some time just to uh, cool down, kind of get their own time, you can put those on, have total privacy. A lot of times I slap the blackout net on there and I jump in with my son and I nurse because I am not, I am not good about nursing in public and I'm way more comfortable in there. So what you can do is they zip on here on the back and they zip here along the side of the canopy and you can put them on, but if you want to not have to be put it, zipping them on and off throughout the day, say you're at an amusement park or something like that, a long outing, you can leave them on, you pull it up from the bottom, and you simply roll it up and store it here with this toggle. That was a game changer for me because a lot of times if I'm going through the airport, if we are somewhere out and about like an amusement park, I don't want to be having to take accessories on and off. This is just another way that they've thought of to make life easier for parents, which is the whole reason I bought this. So if you didn't know about that now, now you know. Here you can see a little more of the peekaboo window. Sometimes I do get sun on the opposite rider, or sometimes even if you have really strong sun on the rider closest to you. Uh, thankfully, they're developing a summer cover that's going to answer those problems and will still be breathable for your kids. So I'm just going to go ahead and preface this segment with an apology. If you see, you know, schmuck in my wagon, in my stroller, uh, that's because we use this thing all the time. This is our go-to stroller if we have one kid or both kids or three kids. If a cousin jumps in, we're using this all the time. And uh, I actually have never had to wash this. I literally just a handheld vacuum has been good enough for me. Uh, but I know that some parents have had like a slushy or an orchata ICU Desiree have been spilled here in the wagon. So the advantage of the Pronto materials is one, they are incredibly stain resistant. I didn't realize for probably a year and a half, I had bright pink lipstick on this gray body and I was able to take it off with just like a rag and a little bit of Dawn or something. Um, the other thing is I have owned way too many strollers and wagons throughout my time and all of the wagons I've ever had have said spot clean only. You either cannot take off the fabrics or they're incredibly hard to and they discourage it. Uh, this one, machine washable. You take it off, you 
I would probably wash it on gentle. You air dry it, you zip it back on. It's really, really simple. And I think that that's a really huge advantage because kids are messy. So from here, I'm gonna go ahead and show you some of the storage options that you have for the Pronto. Some of these are accessories and some of it's built in. Um, the first thing that I wanna show you is the parent organizer here. And this thing is a game changer. I recommend this to people that even don't have a Pronto. Uh, this has a built-in option on the stroller frame that you can clip it on. So you don't need to use Velcro straps to take up space if you have stroller hooks, diaper bag, whatever like that. And these are uh, multifunctional in the sense that if you get a cup holder, the basic cup holder that they sell also clips here on these attachment points. Um, alternatively, they do come with built-in Velcro straps. So you can use these universally across pretty much any stroller, I would think. Um, if you wanted to put cup holders here from the Pronto, you can hang this with the Velcro and use all of it simultaneously. Um, there also are two built-in cup holder mesh um, cup holders here on the inside, and it's so nice and deep, this organizer is. Just as an FYI, I actually have both of my basic Pronto cup holders that attach to the frame shoved into those mesh cup holders that are in the parent console right now. So they're, if you buy the parent console, it's not going to look quite so round like that, but I have them there just for this structure. It has um, a zipper pocket on the inside that is mesh, but it helps you to have a little bit of a secure compartment on the inside of, oh, I didn't realize I have stuff in there, of your uh, organizer here. And it has this flap covering just to keep things a little more secure, a little more out of sight if you're, you know, out in public. Um, and then the, uh, also on the front here, it has this fantastic logo, but it has this pocket. This is so easy. If you have wipes and a diaper in here, change of clothes, whatever that might be necessary for your kids. And this is a really great pocket. I put my mace in here, but you can put your phone in here or a pocket knife, whatever that you just want to be able to access quickly. Um, it's really, really well thought out. Um, and so that's the parent organizer. I love it. I have two or three because I want one for every stroller. I have two Prontos. I had to have both frame colors. We are that crazy. My husband and I used to tussle over who gets to push it, who whatever. Now we don't have that problem. So the next storage thing that I love, this is an integrated part of the design, not an extra accessory that you need to buy, is the storage basket. So this has also been upgraded from the version one it comes now with this flap here that a lot of times commonly in Korea they use for shoes for little kids so you're not going to get the inside of your wagon dirty. You can go ahead and pop shoes off and just put them right here. Um, but you can use this for whatever you want and it's double sided so you can put it outside here and have more space. Or if you don't need that much of the storage space today, you can leave it in and just use it as an additional um, storage compartment inside the basket. And game changer here on either side on the inside of the storage basket. It has even bigger cup holders. You can put huge thermoses in this. If you're bringing soup or whatever, if you're like a coffee lover and you just need all the coffee, you can fit all of it in here. So this basket can carry tons of weight. It's not flimsy. It's, uh, you know, these metal pieces are incredibly sturdy. So we've definitely loaded this thing up to the gills and it has withstood every challenge. The next part of the storage that I'm going to tell you about is the internal storage to the stroller. And on the inside here, you'll see that there are four pockets. My son loves these pockets. I am forever finding like golf balls, stuffies, you know, just random. Look at that. He loves golf balls. So we're always finding stuff in here. So you want to make sure that you don't leave snacks. But there are these four great compartments for kids to be able to use you know, for toys and things like that. Um, there also is a tray that comes with the Pronto. It's just a flat tray. There's no cup holders in it right now. It is machine washable. I love the cover. You can just zip it off. Um, it does Velcro here on the sides. It's kind of a love it or hate it thing right now. Some families care for it, some don't. Um, kind of where we're at with the ages of our children, we just don't really need it, to be honest. So I generally don't bring it with me very often. Um, I have some saddlebags that are aftermarket that are not sold by Pronto. And if I am gonna bring it with me, I'll just stick it in there so it's out of the way. Some parents kind of just put it here under their liner. So there's different things that you can do if you wanna bring it with you. But for our kids, a sippy cup or a little cup with snacks is good yeah. enough and we don't need it. Can you drop the story of Jericho over? Pardon the interruption, we keep it real here on the channel. My oldest sometimes doesn't think <laughs> that when we're recording he needs to stop. So 
don't worry about it. Um, so the next thing I want to talk with you about is this multi bag. I didn't have this for a while and now I'm kicking myself. I can't believe I didn't have it. So this is a, just another storage option here and it opens this way. It's got the two built in pockets here on the front and it's got the main pocket here and it's got, so let me just show you this. This is like a transformer bag. It's got a snap up here and it's not over. It snaps on the bottom too to expand and give you so much space inside. Right now I always carry my uh, mosquito net in here, um, but it has this inside fantastic huge uh, mesh zipper pocket inside on the front and on the back. So on both sides you're going to have storage options. You have the main pocket here, two pockets on the front, and if you need more storage you can expand it or you can close it up for a slimmer profile. This thing is amazing and they're always coming out with more storage options. So if you need something that's great, I personally don't like carts. Carts are gross, they're germy, current environment. Nobody wants to be sharing germs. So if you want something that can carry, you know, a lot of groceries, I take this thing to Costco. You can do all of your shopping, all of your strolling, Pronto will have you covered. Been on my channel for any period of time, especially if you see my comparison video that I did between the Pronto, the Even Flow, and the Baby Trend wagons, you're gonna know that brakes are important to me. I like to wear sandals, and I really hate the feeling of digging my foot into some plastic edge of a brake. And this has been the best brake I have ever seen outside of Korea, actually, because I have a Korean stroller as well that I love the brake on it. This thing is literally just like a matte, smooth brake bar. It's a little bit louder than the W2, but it's incredibly secure. If you could just see the function on these tires here, it's crazy. This thing is so strong, but you don't have any pain. It, pushing it down or pulling it up is so smooth. So I just had to point that out because this is such a lovely brake. I, I never, I always have to mention it to people. And since you're back here, you can also see how easy it is to take off these back tires. You push this button here in the center, you pull it up, and it comes right off. So if you have one of those smaller cars I was mentioning earlier, like I did, that it's so easy to just pop these big back tires off and you can store it anywhere. If you're interested in the fold on the Pronto, I uh, did a whole demo on that in my previous video, the comparison between the Baby Trend and the Even Flow Stroller Wagons. And I did a whole demo of how it folds and how it looks in the trunk of our car. So if you wanna see, kind of get a, a reference for maybe how it would fit in your vehicle, please uh, go ahead and check that out. I'll link it down below so you can see it. Um, so the other thing I wanted to reference here with the Pronto One is how customizable it really is. Uh, there's different color packs you can buy. They have lots of different colors and they're always coming out with new ones. So right now we have burgundy on and each color pack is gonna come with the canopy and it's gonna come with two seat backs, including the, the buckle covering down there. So you're gonna have all of those pieces that come with it. I've seen plenty of parents that mix and match, interchange, maybe do like a bubble gum theme. Um, if you have like a son and a daughter, you can have one blue seat, one pink seat. There's different, uh, different, a couple of different fabric choices for some of the seats in different colors. So you can do lots of personalization with those. And with the liners, they have two different kinds of liners. They have the Cool Bum liner, which is a thinner liner. It's more wipeable. Um, so for really hot climates, that might be a better fit for you. Um, they also have a padded liner, which is great. I mean, I love it all the time, to be honest. It's so comfortable. And they have different designs um, for those, a few different. They're coming out with some more. But um, from my personal experience, we had the Pronto for two years without any accessories and without any liner. And to be honest, we loved it. I never realized that there could be anything else. And when we got all these accessories, it was just like the cherry on top. But just the stroller on its own is incredible. It already comes with the tray and it comes with these leather grips. So this brown, I mean, it is just luxurious. And those come standard with each Pronto stroller. So even if right now you're like, you know what? I don't think I can afford to get all the accessories. I mean, they're well-priced, but I want everything. That's what I see so many times on the Facebook page. I want all of them. And I get that, that's so me. But we had, like I said, just the base Pronto, the things that comes with for two years. And I never felt like we were missing anything. And I never had to throw in the washing machine or anything like that. So. You know, if, if that's you, just feel comfortable knowing that if you just got the Pronto stroller and you waited until later to get any accessories, I think you would still be really happy. 
So this has been my Pronto review for the Pronto One stroller. If you have any other questions, any comments, any experiences you want to share, or any comparisons that you'd like to see, please let me know. I'm way too addicted to buying strollers and wagons, and I would be happy to do it. Right, honey? Oh, yeah. So thanks for watching. Uh, please stay tuned to my channel. I'm going to be doing a comparison soon between the Pronto stroller wagon, the W2 from Wonderfold, and the Lark Tail, the new stroller wagon to hit the street. So if you want to see that, please tune in, like, subscribe, all the good stuff, and we'll see you on the next one. Do you like wave to the peasants? <laughs>